Your brain is holding you back from achieving your full potential. You have so much more in you, so much more to give to the world, and so much more greatness to experience for yourself. Being afraid to fail is a surefire way to keep getting in your own way. You start sabotaging your own progress because of this incessant need to know and have certainty around your success. What if it was okay for you to mess up? What if it was an opportunity for you to learn, to become better, to grow, to become stronger and to build more momentum in your life? If you keep being afraid that things are going to go wrong for you, then you're focusing on the wrong thing. And the more attention that you give it, the higher the chances are that you'll keep getting more of it. You fixate, you get obsessed, you start worrying and overthinking about potential negative outcomes in your life, and all of a sudden, you have no motivation to work or to try or to put in any effort because what if everything just doesn't work out the way that you want it to? And yes, it might not. Even if you try really hard, even if you give it your all, you could still end up falling flat on your face. But that's okay. Because it's the only real way to consistently grow, to always be improving, to see regular progress, and to have a feedback loop, a mechanism that really tells you what you're doing well and what you're not doing so well. You need that feedback. You need a little bit of resistance, something to test yourself against in order to really expand. When you don't get the results that you want, when things don't go your way, that's not a sign that you're not doing the right thing. It's a sign that you need to improve your approach change your tone, change your perception, change some part of the way that you're showing up. There's always something that you can do to get a better outcome. But if you don't keep working on your input, then the output stays fixed. Without trying, without consistently pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, all we know is the certainty of getting more of what you already have. And what also goes hand in hand with this fear of failure is the overthinking and slow decision making. Because you're constantly doubting yourself, holding yourself back, limiting your own growth, you end up really wondering whether or not you're even doing the right thing. And the more that you worry about whether you're making the right decision, the more time you waste. It's better to make the wrong decision to do something that maybe doesn't get you the optimal result, but at least to keep moving. The power of momentum and the power of keeping your energy flowing versus stagnating, getting in your own head, holding yourself back, stopping yourself from trying, really, just makes sure that you feel even worse about yourself because you have no real confidence in your own ability. You have no real self-belief and you end up making more and more of those stalled decisions and you start questioning yourself even further. So even if you make the wrong decision, make a decision regardless. Don't stall, don't question yourself too much because even if you get it wrong, that's another opportunity for you to learn. This is part of that quality feedback loop and when you really embrace it instead of fighting against it, you realize that you start to feel a lot better about yourself, about your real talents, your skills. You start to notice how much sharper you are and you start to think more clearly. When you start to think more clearly, it's easier to make better decisions. You don't fear failure as much and really your brain kind of loses its grip over you. That part of you that wants to feel stressed and annoyed and irritated, it doesn't really have that much energy to work off of anymore. And so you start to feel a lot lighter, more at peace. And that makes it easier to be more mindful, to do the right thing, and to really start to stack everything in your favor. And once you've got all of this going for you, now you just have to look at your lack of focus because your brain is going to try to distract you in every different kind of direction to really make you just stimulate yourself. You don't have a good time. Relax, enjoy, you don't have to try too hard today because you deserve a break or you deserve a rest. And maybe that's even true. Maybe you really do. But you have to think about your ultimate goal, the difference that you want to make in this world, the impact that you want to have on other people's lives. And you have to ask yourself, 
maybe I can push through. Maybe I can concentrate on what's really important and keep my focus instead of just letting myself drift off with the wind. Even if seemingly everyone and everything around you is trying to draw your attention away from your purpose or away from what you need to do, muster up the focus and the attention. Command your attention and your focus and set your boundaries. It's okay to say no. It's okay to be a little bit of an annoyance, you know? To not make everybody around you super happy all the time because there is something more important out there than other people's approval. And you deserve to live a life and to really reap the benefits and the results of tapping into your full potential. Instead of being this half-baked version of yourself, someone who's not fully dialed in, someone who doesn't have their shit together, you can really make a stand. You have a choice to make today about where you're going to focus all your energy. And if you take it and channel it into the thing that you know you should be working on, into what you know you should be developing further, the skills that you need to polish, right? Then you progress so much quicker and everything in your life gets better as a result, right? The rising tide that will lift all the boats. When you improve your core skills, the things that really are valuable to the marketplace, to the people around you and your relationships, then you progress much, much quicker. So no matter how hard it is, say no to everything that's not serving you right now and really take all your energy and pour it into what matters most. And if you'd like some help with that, if you want me to really make sure that you're performing at your absolute best week over week, just like I've done for over a thousand clients at this point, then I invite you to jump over to eraphael.com. Over there, you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me directly. We'll talk, see if it's a good fit. And if so, then I'll be coaching you and holding you accountable to living your life at your absolute best. Again, if you want to take advantage of it, head over to eraphael.com. Link is in the description. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this one and I will catch you on the next one.